Soulstone Survivors is a neat little roguelike game that features a good necromancer, as well as some other interesting classes like Houndmaster. How it works is you gotta survive waves of enemies and boss encounters that get progressively harder until either you die or you win. Unlocking the necromancer is a little bit of work, but it's not too hard. When you finally unlock the necromancer, what will await you are some great minions. Throughout the course of the game as you level up and get stronger, you'll be able to improve these minions. Minion damage, health and quantity can be buffed. So even though you might be limited to 4 mages at first, it can easily be raised to 6 mages, for example. Skeleton warriors are the first minions you get and you're always guaranteed to have them by default. You can have a base maximum of 12 warriors. By chance, if you're lucky, you'll be given the other minions as well as you level up. These minions are not guaranteed to be had during a playthrough, but you usually have at least one of them, if not all of them. Skeleton Mages with a base maximum of 4 mages. Skeleton Archers with a base maximum of 4 archers. These archers are really good for single target DPS. There's a ranger class in the game, and having the skeleton archers is a bit like having 4 rangers. They really just melt the bosses. And the last unique necromancer minion is the Putrid Hound, of which you can have a base max of 4. These are the necromancer's unique minions. On top of them you can also have some generic minions that are available to other classes as well, like the Chaos Golems. Until you unlock the necromancer you can have a lot of fun playing the Houndmaster. The Houndmaster is a gunner who's got hounds as minions. And the Houndmaster can also get ballistas, which are like stationary turrets and Chaos Golems are also available for the Houndmaster. I'm scoring Soulstone Survivors a 9 out of 10 for its minion mechanics. The minions are very plentiful, with an absolute minimum of 12, which is already more than most games offer. Then this can be expanded to beyond 20 with all the other minions and upgrades. You're looking at quite a large crew of undead here, and it's really great. The minions are all extremely useful, they do all the damage for you, and they don't suffer from being underpowered. These are strong minions, and it's very satisfying. All minions are permanent, which is great, no silly timers. Minion diversity is good and above average, but it remains the only area where things could be improved. Some more types of minions would be fantastic, and what the game needs to receive a full score from me is some more minion types. Things like zombies would be a great addition. In conclusion, Soulstone Survivors is a great game with a fantastic necromancer and very satisfying minions gameplay. If running around in circles doing the minions dance while your minions destroy everything for you is your thing, then this is your game. It comes highly recommended from me. Thanks for watching, I've got more videos and necromancy stuff coming soon.